Hey guys, it's Marianne, and this is going to be my second video going up tonight. Um, I This is more or so a video for Jen, Black Lab Lover 9, I think that's the number in her um, username. Um, if you're subscribed to me, you have to be subscribed to her because she's absolutely amazing, but if by chance you're not subscribed to her and haven't heard of her, definitely check her channel out. I'm going to put a link in the little information bar under this video to her channel. Um, I absolutely love her. I love watching her videos. Um, and she has become one of my enablers here on YouTube. Um, sh her and I seem to have the same taste in certain things. Um, it seems especially with like perfumes. Um, I know like one of her favorite perfumes is Estee Lauder's Bronze Goddess and I absolutely love that perfume. Like, I, I love it. I just, I can't explain it. Um, and I, so many people that I have spoken to have thought that, you know, they didn't like the smell. They were like, I don't understand how you can like that. I absolutely love it. And I would be like, well, I can understand how you don't like it. So, um, I was really excited when I saw her video and she said that, you know, I was one of her favorite perfumes. So, um, she did a re video recently about, um, the new Pamela Anderson perfumes. Now, I had seen them in, um, CVS. And I always get kind of, I don't know the word I'm looking for, but so many celebrities celebrities have come out with different perfumes that it kind of gets to the point where like, well, is it really worth buying? Because some of them are just, in my opinion, just not good. And I hate saying that um, because I do, there are some that I really love. I love, you know, the Britney Spears one. I love Jessica Simpson's Fancy Love. That's one of my absolute favorites. But, um... You know, when you think of Pamela Anderson, you don't really think of, you know, somebody who, pre you know, comes up with a perfume. So, I saw it, and I was like, you know, whatever. Um, then I saw her video on it, and she was raving about them, and I knew I had to at least go to the store and smell them, because I didn't even do that when I saw them at my CVS. So, of course, when I went to the CVS that I had seen them at, they were sold out or they didn't have them. I don't know. They weren't on display anymore. So after a few days, I went to a different CVS and I did find them. And I smelled them both and I love them. They are so summery smelling and spring smelling and I just, I'm in love. I didn't get um, the, they're, they're called Malibu and Malibu Night. Um, the blue bottle is the regular Malibu, and the pink bottle is Malibu Night. I love both of them, but I could only get one of them because they're, it's not too expensive. I believe at CVS I paid $29.99, um, you know, but for me that's a little bit expensive just because right now I don't really have a job. Um, I'm just kind of doing babysitting here and there, so until I can get a you know, until I find a job, like for now, I have to kind of watch my spending. So. I was standing in the store going back and forth and um, my mom was actually with me and she said to me, you know what, I'll just get you one for, you know, Easter because my parents, like, they still give my brother and I, you know, gifts for Christmas and Easter and things like that. Um, Easter, it's not like huge, but so I was really excited but I still couldn't decide and for me, when all else fails, if something is pink, I just go with the pink one. So. The pink one is the Malibu Night, and this is what the box looks like. I kept the box. I don't know why. Um, there's a gorgeous picture, of course, of Pam on the front, and that's what it looks like. Um, and then this is the bottle, and it's a super pretty bottle. Um, it looks like a um, like a diamond. And, oh my gosh, I've been using this every day since I got it. I love this so much. I am bad at describing scents, but, um, it, this one does have, like, a musky smell to it, and, um, I can see why it's called Malibu Night, um, though I've been wearing it during the day, but, um, I, I love it. It, it reminds me of, like, being on vacation, um, kind of like walking on the beach at night or walking on the boardwalk at night, and if you're from New Jersey, like me, then you kind of know what I'm talking about, um, it's just, it's such a nice smell, and to me it's like, um, more of a, I guess a mature smell, and I don't know if that makes a lot of sense. Um, the reason I say that is because it, 
you know, a lot of scents, especially ones that celebrities make, they're like really fruity smelling and like um, flowery smelling, and that's fine. I love them just the same, but sometimes you want a perfume that's, I don't know, like kind of flirty and sexy, if that makes any sense at all, um, and that's definitely this perfume. Um, I absolutely love it. Between this and I have to go and buy um, the Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess. I think I'm going to have to get it off the website when I can because I haven't seen it in stores, so I'm kind of upset. Um, but um, between that and this, and if I get the blue one, which eventually I think I will, um, those will probably be my scents for the, you know, the spring and the summer. I absolutely love it. Again, I'm not good at describing scents. Um, like I said, there is like a musky smell to it, so if you don't like the musky smells, you, you'll probably like the regular Malibu better. Um, I definitely smell a little bit of vanilla in here. Um, if I can find a website that like describes the smells, um, I'll put a link to it in the information box as well. But I definitely recommend you at least go to, I know I saw this in CBS, um, I know Rite Aid carries it. Um, I've seen quite a few drugstores carry this, so if you go to your drugstore, I know some of them may not have testers, mine did, um, if you can at least smell it, um, definitely do that, I, I guarantee that more than likely you will love this, it is amazing, so thank you Jen for doing your video about these, I absolutely love these per this perfume and the blue one, oh, they are amazing. Um, so again, if you're not subscribed to Jen, um, Black Lab Lover 9, um, definitely go and subscribe. Again, I'll have her link in the information box below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace, love, and pug hugs. Bye-bye.